is Matt, your host for the Primal Podcast. This episode, as usual, is brought to you by Primal Health and Nutrition, where they are bringing us back to our roots. As has been previously mentioned, we have made this episode available to you via our website, Primal, at primalhn.com and also on YouTube where it can be downloaded, viewed, and listened to at your leisure. Just go to primalhn.com, click on the home button down to blog, and you'll find this and much, much more to listen to. The last few episodes we've been discussing those foods not to be consumed while living the autoimmune paleo diet or the autoimmune protocol diet or the AIP diet, whatever floats your boat is what you can call it. Last week we talked about nightshades and this week we'll be discussing non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs is a mouthful as you probably noticed and so many people use the acronym NSAIDs. I don't know if I'm saying it right but that's how I say it. Let's start by defining what non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are. They actually are a fairly common drug and can be purchased anywhere you like. Walgreens, Walmart, there's probably a few other wall stores you could go to. Uh, they consist of anti-diarrhea drugs, laxatives, oral contraceptives, hormones, hormone replacements, antibiotics, and acid reflux drugs. There are several, several more and they're branded differently but at the end of the day they're all NSAIDs and they technically should be avoided on the AIP diet. Now we'll get a little bit more into the reason I say technically is because we'll, we'll kind of dive into that a little bit more because it's not an easy decision to to eliminate them entirely. The question is why do they fall in the AIP non-compliant foods or I guess substances would be a more appropriate term in this case and the answer to that is they cause a small intestinal permeability, a leaky gut, which obviously uh, at the end of the day causes inflammation. What is kind of ironic about this is they're non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, so who knows why they call them that when they do actually cause some issue in the body. And a lot of, there aren't a ton of uh, people, they don't know exactly why when I say they, the infamous they, they don't know exactly why they have uh, this effect on the body, but uh, there are a lot of studies that show that this does happen. So it's, it's something to be avoided. But as many would guess, and as I, I would guess, is there are several people living the, or several people living with an autoimmune disease that currently take several of these drugs. I know my sister, she has RS. I've talked about her many times. And she had chronic pain. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but before she started um, taking care of her, her autoimmune disease, she was she was in fact the story goes is when I was a kid we would trade she would trade a foot massage for cookies and I hate cooking so I would do the foot massage and she'd get me the cookies right and I became a pretty good foot massager <laughs> my wife is grateful for that but um, but after once her once her RS set in she couldn't take it anymore it would just destroy her if I were to give her something like that. And so she did take some, uh, some NSAIDs. And that's, I mean, so it's a very difficult decision, very dicey decision to forego these drugs, particularly if you have chronic, play, uh, chronic pain. And a massive disclaimer right now, I am no medical professional. And Primal Health and Nutrition, anybody else, we do not encourage dismissing the use of these drugs unless you've consulted with your own doctor. We, we're not in that business. Uh, we should all be looking for good doctors that will take care of us the best way we know how and then those that are willing to work with us to heal within our bodies rather than just putting a band-aid on things. But again, we do not, by any means, massive, very clear disclaimer, uh, advocate for people dismissing their doctors, these drugs uh, for treatment. However, the natural healing process is very, very possible uh, to eventually become free of these drugs by consistent, unadulterated effort to follow the AAP diet. With close consultation with your medical doctor, 
you can begin to peel away some of these drugs and that you're currently taking or potentially could take. Um, kind of getting back to, to my sister, I've mentioned this before, but she was taking loads of medicine. Uh, I mean, she had, you know, what your grandma has. I'm sure maybe some of you have it, but they have the, the Monday, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the days of the week, little containers that had pills in them that she had to take to ensure that she was she was meeting a regimen. But in time, as she worked with her medical doctor and she worked with uh, uh, another consultant, they she was relieved of all these drugs. And so it was just a matter of her eating correctly, it healed her from the inside out, and now she's pain-free. And it's been going on for a very long time and her condition's improved immensely. I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but she used to be a twig, but now she's a stacked buff lady. So uh, it takes time, and it takes, again, a lot of good people around you to help you reach this point. But it is possible, and if you're consistent, you can overcome it. But this particular decision is, is a little bit more difficult. There's one last point I want to make. But before I do so, I would like to uh, thank our sponsor. If you haven't tried Primal Health and Nutrition, you are missing out. They are the cleanest AIP and paleo protein on the planet. As we mentioned several times on this program, the AAP diet is likely the most difficult diet to live, but thanks to Primal Health and Nutrition, they make it much easier. The, cho the cherry chocolate and the vanilla banana are out of this world delicious, believe it or not. The natural is 100% AIP compliant. All other products are AIP friendly because they have an un almost undetectable amount of stevia in them, and what correction, actually organic stevia in them, Again, I would highly encourage you if you haven't yet tried this delicious protein to order some today. They can be found on primalhn.com. Again, that's primalhn as in health and nutrition.com. Or you can do what other people do and run over to Amazon, Bonanza, eBay, or all those other e-commerce websites, and you can find them there too. So on to my final point uh, regarding this, and it's that we are responsible for our bodies and we understand our bodies better than anyone else. I once worked with a man who told me, who told me always to use wisdom. I would suggest some particular action to take and he would look me straight in the eye and say, he'd call me brother sometimes, brother, use wisdom. So and that's kind of the same case, that's the same advice that we need to take with our bodies. We know our bodies better than anyone else, and we can feel them and understand them better than anyone else, even any professional. So when a professional does, a medical professional does recommend something that will improve our health, that they claim will improve our health, we need to be skeptical. It's okay to be skeptical. It's okay to question your doctor. It's not to. It's not okay to to you know be brazen about it, but. A good consultation should be just that. We should consult heavily with our doctor, we should be counseled heavily by our doctor, and we should do our own research to determine what is best for our body, because at the end of the day, it's our responsibility. And that's why, as we go about and reintroduce, reintroduce different foods, or I guess in some cases, if the pain is chronic enough, uh, drugs into our diet, we need to be vi uh, vigilant. And as this process goes on, we do our research and cross-reference what happens to us when we do consume this, that, or take this or that drug, and try and, and work and listen to our doctor um, in the appropriate way so that we can give the right amount of feedback so that we can achieve the best health that we can. It's a long, long road, a long process for some people to make their way through the AIP diet. I've read things where people take, like my sister, years to achieve this kind of this kind of relief, but others, they do it after a couple of weeks and they're, they're golden. Uh, I think I heard a story about a guy that couldn't even walk and after he started the AIP diet, after just a few days, he was on his feet. I mean, crazy, I don't, I've heard, I don't know, it, it's crazy. But you can see results by healing naturally from the inside out and uh, that's all for us today. Thanks for joining us. Come back next week, and we'll see you next time.